Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous evening here in the end times in paradise here under the redwood trees in the Santa Cruz mountains in California on this cool crisp September 1st going into Labor Day weekend so this is your old eco Nazi uh, I've been in the middle of rebuilding a redwood deck. Yes, your old eco Nazi making his $15 an hour logging the Santa Cruz Mountains for this home improvement project. So anyway, I'll probably have more about this tomorrow when I go buy some redwood lumber at the local redwood lumber mill. See if that gets me run out of Santa Cruz. But anyway, here's the... Here's the fix I'm in. Uh, so I am staying with a, actually my a former coworker of mine uh, from Century 21 Real Estate back when I was a California realtor. I was working. I've mentioned my friend before. We will call her Lulu. Uh, very successful real estate agent here in, uh, in, in Santa Cruz who uh, has a, a, a boyfriend I don't particularly care for, which the only reason I mention that is so you'll know kind of what I'm talking about when, when I get into this. But anyway, here's, here's the situation. Uh, Lulu has gotten a new listing a new listing which is close to one million dollars and she needs to write her little her little ad for her new listing and uh, you know she goes hey, on and I remember that she used to be such a, a good ad writer that you could really encapsulate your, your listings your real estate listings and uh, get that phone to ring you know, I mean, I do have five years of journalism training. So anyway, she has hired me to, at, at $15 an hour, I guess, uh, to write an ad for her new almost $1 million listing in the uh, Santa Cruz Mountain Redwood Forest. And so I have been, I'm at wit's end, and it, it, it's coming down to two. So it's a toss-up between these two. I've been pulling my hair out, uh, trying to help my friend write this ad. So what I'm going to do, we're going to take it to a vote. Uh, I'm going to read these two ads and you tell me which one you think will get the phone to ring more. What we're trying to do is get the phone to ring. Okay? That is the object of real estate ads. This is a, one of the great secrets of real estate agents. Guys, it's not to sell, I mean, well, it, it is to sell the house you're listing, but it's to get the goddamn phone to ring. You know, you're never going to sell the house they're calling on. You're going to sell them some other goddamn house. You want the phone to ring. So anyway, these are the two choices that I'm down to. You're an eco-Nazi real estate agent. Uh, so I mentioned uh, Lulu's boyfriend, who is uh, what Don Juan Matus of Carlos Castaneda fame would call a petty tyrant. I have had an entire rant about this guy. Okay, so this is option number one. <clears throat> Petty tyrant paradise awaits desperate housewife. Hey ladies, do you, like me, have a fucking teeny weeny petty tyrant lying around your living room like a bad cat piss carpet stain generally stinking up your house and cluttering up your life like yesterday's junk mail? Well, have I got 
a solution for you. Buy this lovely home and send that useless piece of shit out to his man barn for the rest of his life while you kick back in your custom kitchen and home theater where you and your girlfriends can watch the bridges of Madison County until doomsday while that worthless prick sadist lives out the rest of his pathetic life in his man barn stall like the pig he is. You will thank me for the rest of your life. Okay, that is option number one. And this is option number two. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Prepare for Armageddon in this doomsday retreat in the Redwoods. Whether you are a nut job doomsday prepper survivalist or just a criminally clueless American consumer with an ecological footprint the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex and enough useless planet-eating crap to mow down half of the Peruvian Amazon rainforest, you will shit your camos with joy over this FEMA camp-sized compound in the Redwoods. The custom kitchen alone contains enough of this planet's resources to keep a corrupt sub-Saharan failed state dictator in power for decades. Hell, there's enough space in the man barn to park a fucking Sherman tank to defend against future neighborly invasions and to store enough bottled water and MREs to get you through eight years of Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. Rottweiler negotiable. So anyway, guys, I'm just, I am just totally torn between these two ads and uh, Lulu should be home any minute and she has given me this assignment. My deadline is, is, is tonight. She has to get this uh, off the presses tomorrow. So uh, I need to hear from you pronto which one of these ads, which one of these ads, I'm just going to read the title, Petty Tyrant Paradise Awaits Desperate Housewife or prepare for Armageddon in this doomsday retreat. And your old eco-Nazi former real estate agent and real estate ad copywriter will greatly appreciate your advice. Which one of these ads would you call on? And anyway, as I say, uh, I will be back at you tomorrow from uh, the lumber company. This is what I've been up to today. Can you see this deck? I'm ripping out all these boards with the band-aids on them. And we're going to head. Maybe we'll cut down that redwood tree right there. How about that redwood tree right over us? Anyway. I gotta go have a margarita. Bye guys.